Hi there. You might have heard the exciting news that New Hills Church building is able to open again on Sunday mornings for worship. We've already had two Sundays and it's been going really well. Now some people might be thinking now's not quite the right time for them to come back to church and that's absolutely okay. We're still going to put stuff up online and offer CDs of the service as well. But for those of you who do want to come back and you might be wondering what's it going to look like? What do I have to do? Well then this video is for you. The first thing we're asking is that you send us an email to let us know that you're going to come. So we've set up a specific email address for this. It's newhills.register at gmail.com. And when you send us that email, we're looking for three bits of information from you. The first is your name and the names of the others in your household that are intending to come. The second is a piece of contact data for you for test and protect purposes, preferably a phone number that you give us permission to use for those purposes. And the third, is which service you want to come to. In order to allow as many people as you can to come with the reduced capacity that we have, we're putting on two services, one at 10 a.m. and one at 11.30 a.m. The other thing you'll need to bring with you is a mask. Now, we will have spare ones of these at the door for anyone who's forgotten or doesn't have a mask, but it is helpful if you bring your own one with you. And you might want to bring with you a Bible as well. It's a really good habit just to bring a Bible with you to church because then you can look through it as I'm going through the sermon and you can follow the reading uh, with your Bible as well. And as an added bonus, it also shows everybody how holy you are by the size of your Bible. As you're leaving the house, you might want to go to the toilet before coming to church. If you don't need, maybe just go for a try. But make sure you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds afterwards. When you arrive at church, you will be greeted at this door with a very warm and friendly welcome. Although, we want to remind you to always stay two metres apart from those who aren't in your household. So this is the right way to come into the building. This way would be wrong. This way it's not correct either. This is way out. If you've given us your data, perfect, you can just walk right on in. But if you need to give us your data, there will be somebody with a folder to give that to, or you can use Tap My Data, an app on your phone, and just scan this QR code on the door on your way in. Once you enter through the doors, you're into the vestibule, or as I like to call it, the wash and walk area. Wash and walk. Once you're into the sanctuary, you'll see that it's already been spaced out for us, and somebody will help direct you to the appropriate seat to sit in. And we're going to fill it up from the furthest corner first, so that nobody has to walk past anybody else when they're sitting down. If you've had two cups of coffee in the morning or if you forgot to go to the toilet before you came, don't worry, the toilets are open. However, we need to make sure that we're still distance and that nobody's passing anybody down the corridor. So there will be somebody looking after that area and they'll just let you know whether it's safe to go down. It'd be really great if once you're in your seat, you're able to stay seated until after the service is over. So anything you've got to do, then if you do that before taking your seat, and that means we minimise anybody walking past anybody else. And if you do need to go to the toilet during the service, then please use the disabled access toilet on the other side of the hall. Once the service is over, just stay in your seat and the people who have been helping to steward the service will come along and direct you when it's time to leave just to make sure we all do it safely and we're all suitably distanced from each other and when we leave if we go out the opposite side of the building to the one that we came in. As you're leaving don't forget to sanitize your hands on the way out and just continue right round the path to the car park or to however you're getting home 
If you want to stop and chat, then just step out onto the grass so you can let other people past you as well. So there you go. It's as easy as that. I hope this has answered some of your questions and we really do appreciate everybody's understanding and help in making things as safe as possible. There's more information on our website uh, so I do encourage you to go have a look at newhillschurch.org.uk but I hope to be able to see you very soon.